y'all this is Dina welcome to my channel y'all I am back with my Christmas kid packs today um, I've worked on them quite a bit today and I have 11 of them I was going to do 12 but I messed up one of my boxes so it will be 11 I'm not buying any more boxes uh, but anyway I thought I would show you the ones I've got completed and show you how I put it together so this is one you see I did um, paper around the, the bottoms and then I what I did is used my Cricut and I made myself a tag and I'll explain that more in just a bit. And then I added some ribbon on the top. So got that one. And this one was the Candy Cane Lane paper. Thought that one was so cute. Oh, oh my gosh. And then got this one. And these are all different paper collections. And then I've got this one. And then I have this one. Got red on the end. And then this one's got little presents. And I've got this one. And I used scraps from when I did my tea favors. I did finish all my tea favors as well. And this was a scrap I had. So I thought it was cute. And this is, uh, I got two more, and these are out of the Candy Cane Lane paper. Got that. And I've got the Santa. Now, I was going to layer up under here, but as I did this one, it really didn't make a lot of difference. So, I decided to save myself time and not worrying about lay layering up my paper. So, the rest of it looks just fine. So, anyway, I'm going to get this cleaned off, and then I'll walk you through how I did these. Okay, so, what I have done, and if you saw my haul yesterday, I purchased a lot of, like, different little packs like this from Hobby Lobby. Um, I forgot to put this one in, so I'm not going to worry about it because my boxes are full anyway, so I'll just save it. But this is what they all look like. They were in the Christmas craft section. This one was $3.99, but it was on sale for half off, so $2. And this one came with 12 in it. So that's how we're going to break down the pricing. Now, keep watching. If you want to know how much I'm going to sell these for, I'm going to tell you at the end of my video. So let me just show you what I'm put in and what I've done. So what I did is I took apart the kits and I put all the pieces in little cellophane bags. So I've got this little reindeer um, um, necklace. I have the little ornament. You can decorate the ornament. I also have this right here. I put two of these little ornaments in here for you to decorate and hang on the tree. I've got this one is a reindeer. Got another reindeer. And I've got this Santa. And as you see, I took them all apart and put them in cellophane bags. And then I've got this one right here. It's a little ornament that they can color. Okay, so what I did is I purchased these gable style boxes at the at Hobby Lobby. This is the tag that it came with, okay? So the boxes are six and a quarter by six by three and a half, okay? So this is the boxes that I, this is the gable boxes that I needed, that I picked up. Now, I found these on the aisle next to like the card stock and so forth, and there were tons of bags and stuff. So, and that's how it was at my, my Hobby Lobby. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your box or your gable box here, and you're gonna decide what kind of paper you want on each one. And I've gone ahead and cut this one. I tried to do just a bunch of different ones. So um, I just add, I'm gonna just add my paper on here. All you're gonna do is measure it up and make it a little bit smaller than the space right here, okay? So I've got this one ready to go. So I'm going to just use some adhesive. Make sure you get your tape or your glue along the edge. Okay. I hope everybody had a great day. We had a good day. We did. Okay, so I'm going to go. Make sure you don't put it right on that line. Look at it where it will stay on. Now press it down really well. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put these right here. Now I've been doing different colors on the ends, but the other side of this piece of paper is black and I didn't wanna do that, so I'm gonna do the same. I've really, really, really been trying when I make my craftier stuff not to just make one and say, oh, I'll come back and make it later. Because you know what? In the end, I need... I'm going to put some more tape right there on the end. In the end, I want to get them all done because the craft fair is in two months. And it will fly by. Okay. So now I'm going to put it on this one. Okay, got that one down. Now I wish I could have covered the whole top or I wish the tops of my boxes were a different color, but they're not. So it is what it is. And I tried to cover that all the way and it was just so much work. I'm like, I'd never get done with these. So I decided just to do the bottoms and leave the top and it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna add the smaller pieces on the ends. Line these up. And then I'm going to flip this one over. Out. One last piece. So there we go. Now I've got it all done. Now what I'm going to do is open it up and make sure your bo box is formed correctly. And I've been taking my big tape gun that I've got and I've been taking a little piece and just sticking it in the bottom because you know that's where it kind of folds. That way it just stays. Okay. Okay. So now then what I'm gonna do is I've got this kind of this kind of shred that I purchased uh, at Daiso, I believe. And I'm gonna put some in the bottom. So I'm just making sure it kind of covers the bottom. And then I'm going to take my my goodies and add it in. Okay. And I figured out which ones lay flat and which ones were a little big. This one kind of sticks up, so I put this one up on the side and the Santa up on the side. And I'm going to stick the little ornament. And I got the little reindeer bell. I have been adding this for just for grins, just adding a few of the little uh, bows. I also have been adding um, one of the Dare Santa letters that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just folding it down just so it will fit down in my box, okay? Look at this one. And I just kind of fold them. If you want to add an envelope, if you can. But I'm not going to add an envelope. Okay, and then I had, when I finished my tea favors, um, the where I found like peppermints like this is at Cracker Barrel. They had them, um, they had them five for a dollar. And so I just picked some up. The, yeah, five for, five for one dollar. That's how much I paid for them. So anyway, so what I did is I added the peppermint because I had a few left over. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and fold this, get this closed. Look at the little box, isn't that so sweet? I love it. And then I made this Christmas kit pack sign on my Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, don't worry, you can still make these. Just handwrite it or use stickers. I always say handwrite, use stickers, whatever you prefer to do. Um, you can add anything on here. You don't even have to label it like I have. It's just what I wanted to do. So now all I'm gonna do 
So I'm going to add, I just added a little tape and then yes, I double, doubled up my adhesive and I added glue. up here on the top. You can make these any size you want. Okay, let me get my pin on my glue. Okay, and then I just, what I did once I was done, I just took some ribbon It. You don't even have to do a bow. Just do like a little knot and just tie it on just like this. Aren't those so cute? It's so easy, right? So, so easy. So now I have, I have 11. That's all I'll end up with. 11 is good. So, okay, let's talk pricing. Okay, so what I did is as I was making these, um, the, the price that was on the pack, I write it down and then I would calculate how many is in the pack and that's how much, uh, how much each item would cost, okay? So the first reindeer packs that I had, I had to buy two of them because they were only six in a pack. They were on, they were $2.99 on sale half price, so I paid $1.50. And there was six in a pack, so those cost me 25 cents each, but I had to buy two of them, okay? And then the reindeer bell necklace that I put in there, they were $2.99, but on sale half price. And so they end up costing a quarter for each one, but um, I had to buy two, okay? And then the wood ornament was was two ninety nine on sale for a dollar fifty, and there were twelve in there. So each one of those wood ornaments only cost me twelve cents. Okay. Now the ornament, the ball ornament, those were um, no, actually the wooden ornaments, the little thing with the little stick. There they came in in there um, for. There were 24 in the pack, and there were $2.99, but half price, so $1.50. And because there were 24 in the pack, and I did use, um, I put two in each one just because there's no reason for me to save them. They came to six cents each, um, but so anyway, it ended up being 12 cents because I added two in there. So the large reindeer, the larger foam reindeer, they were $1.99. There's 12 in the pack, but they were only $1 because it was half price. There were 12 in the pack, so I divided that a dollar by 12 and I got eight cents, eight cents. Now the Santas, they were $2.99, but half price, so they were $1.50 for the pack. There were 12 in the pack, so it cost me 12 cents for the Santas. The ornaments, they were $6.99, but half price, so $3.50. There were 14 in there. I only used 11 of them, but I'm still going to charge myself. But So $0.25 cents for each one of the little ornament. And now the gable boxes were $4.99, but on sale half price, so $2.50. There were 12 in the box, and even though I screwed one up, I'm still charging myself for the 12. So um, each box was $0.21, cents, okay? So I got, uh, for everything that I wrote down, everything I've told you, um, I figured out it was $1.93 for the box and everything I put in it. So I'm allowing myself 50 cents for the paper that I used, a, a dime for the ribbon, because I got all my rolls of, sorry about that, I got all my rolls of ribbon for um, like a like dollar or less. They were super cheap. And then I'm include. I'm gonna add in 20 cents for my cellophane bags because I got them dirt cheap, like a dollar for 40 at um, um, Daiso. So what I figured I have put in these is two dollars and 73 cents. So I think that's pretty good for this whole thing right here. I think that is actually pretty good. So anyway, I'm thinking that I'm going to sell these. Um, I think I'm gonna sell these for um, 
either seven or eight dollars. I thinking seven dollars is a good is a good price. They didn't really. It's not a lot of work. It just took me time to set, sort things out, and then I just had to cut all the paper and stuff like that. And because I was doing eleven of them at one time. So anyway, so I'm thinking that I'm going to sell these for $7 a piece. I think that that'll be a good price. Only cost me $2.73 to uh, for the supplies. And so that's actually a good profit. Now let me know if you think I should do eight. I'm thinking no less than seven. I think $7 is a decent deal. So anyway, that's how I got my pricing for these. I'm really excited by the way they turned out. I absolutely just love them. I think they're going to be, like I always say, eye-catching, 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 y'all. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's super simple. These are great for your craft fair. And yeah, I hope that you will make some of these. If you're not doing a craft fair, make them for someone and make them for like little kids. And you know, that maybe you're at, that maybe at your kid's daycare or your kid's school, if they need little gifts or whatever, if your kids are like swapping gifts or if you wanna give a neighbor or anything like that you can just use these sweet boxes and you can just make all these little sweet little um kid packs or whatever you would like to call them anyway that is that is it i hope you guys had a great sunday and um now it's it is after eight o'clock so i'm going to get this cleaned up a little bit and then i am going to um throw a little laundry in the dryer and think about work tomorrow but at least I work from home. So that's great. Anyway, have a great evening. I'll love you guys to the moon and back. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.